Yo, what is going on everybody? My name is Connor, but you guys can call me Superior. Today, bringing you guys all my class setups in one video. You guys have been asking this for so long now. Uh, for my best DNA bomb class setups, and I decided to just get all my class setups done in one quick and easy video. So stick around to see all my classes for getting DNA bombs. Alright guys, jumping into the very first class, you see I have the HBR A3 Insanity. Now the Insanity is probably the best gun in the game, definitely one of the best elite weapons because if you look at the stats on it, uh, it is plus one damage and plus two fire rate. Now most of the elite guns will have like plus one damage and minus one fire rate or something like that. This one actually has more damage and more fire rate just in exchange for not being able to put like a red dot sight on it. Uh, and handling but if you don't have the insanity or any good variant of the HBR um, just the normal one will do just fine you see the attachments I have stock quick draw um, and foregrip this gun has all actually has a surprisingly high amount of recoil so quick draw is necessary and then or no grips necessary and then like I don't know the other attachments are pretty much personal preference and that's what I prefer low profile is the first perk you need low profile you can freaking put on a support UAV and you can get like 15 kills and a thousand deaths and still get a UAV so there's almost always a constant UAV so you need low profile blind eye because so many stupid warbirds and stuff will come in the map when you're on a kill streak and that helps keeps you off the map and for perk 3 toughness I'll help you win a lot of gunfights I've never like regretted having toughness on so definitely put toughness on you will not regret it and then scavenger because you're gonna run out of ammo if you're going for a DNA bomb you're gonna use more than just the bullets you spawn in with so you need scavenger unless you plan on picking up guns which doesn't normally work out in your favor too well and then in the UAV you'll see I have threat detection which helps show where literally everyone is on the map like through walls so that helps out a lot and then we have extra time on the extra assist points because the extra assist points can help you get uh, your system hack now the system hack I went absolutely big and I have a disable exosuit uh, which is pretty much the main reason for the system hack because since they uh, pretty much nerfed the system hack to make it completely useless if you can't disable an exosuit it doesn't do anything like there's no point of even having it on so I disabled the exosuit with double extra time on it so it literally lasts for like nearly a minute so um, they w can't use an exosuit for a minute which is absolutely huge and you literally see kids just like hopping around the map just like single hops because they're trying to double jump and they don't know what's happening so that's extremely good and then I have Exo Overclock. I guess you could take off Exo Overclock, maybe put on uh, an Exo Launcher, or maybe even a secondary if you needed it. Um, but the main like perks and score streaks are going to stay the same um, throughout the majority of the class setup. So class setup number two is the BAL uh, with the exact same score streaks, perks, and everything, except on the BAL, um, it's same attachments, everything. You know, it's pretty much the same class as the BAL 27. Uh, you can put the Obsidian Steed or the Inferno on or whatever you want, uh, depending on what variants you have. But me. Um, I don't have any of those, the only one I have is the, the 223 and you know I'd rather use the default one than that one so that's that class setup. Next one is the AK-12 Feeder. Now a lot of people have this gun but if you don't have it you know you can just use the normal one or the AK-12G depending if you have the season pass or, or whatever it may be. So this one, uh, the AK-12G gives you extra bullets in the magazine to begin with so putting extended mags on this if you're playing like momentum or something like that, something where you're just getting like or ground war, something where you need a lot of bullets, this is like the best class to use. Uh, because it has like 48 or 50 bullets in the clip so that helps out a lot also I decided to put flak jacket on this class because if you're gonna be running into that many people that you need to use a gun with this big of a clip there's probably gonna be a lot of grenades and stuff like that so flak jacket really does help a lot um, and I ended up taking off the system hack and in, in exchange for the flak jacket so that's where that comes from so moving on next one is the ARX hole puncher now the ARX hole puncher is freaking insane look at the stats on that it has plus two damage um, for minus one accuracy and minus one handling which really isn't a big deal so um, I would argue that this gun could almost be an elite weapon that it is so good so uh, the ARX just normally is really good but then once you get the hole puncher it's just absolutely untouchable uh, with the quick draw stock and grip you're gonna notice that those are pretty much my favorite three attachments to run on any assault rifle um, and then the low profile blind eye toughness and scavenger perk combo um, with the UAV system hack in the overclock so you know this is a really good class definitely this one uh, is really good for kind of medium to long range maps when you still want to play like semi aggressive uh, this class can be your best friend and then the ASM1 magnitude is the last class um, like I said all these guns that I, I'm using variants of you don't have to have the exact variant um, but you can still use the normal gun with the same class setup and it'll just do uh, just as well so the ASM1 magnitude you notice it is plus two range so it takes it a submachine gun and nearly gives it an assault rifle range just with this variant. And then 
I put on the um, the advanced rifling which gives it even more range so it has pretty much an assault rifle range uh, with the submachine gun damage at close range so it's freaking amazing uh, throw extended mags on it the ASM1 already has 45 bolts in the clip so adding that just gives it even more uh, plus the grip to help manage the recoil and then the uh, the same kill streak setup as before. So I don't really have too many classes where I'm running assault kill streak because this is mainly for DNA bombs. So I definitely, if you guys want to get a DNA bomb, pick any one of these classes and kind of um, actually pick all the classes and then kind of just switch on classes depending on the map and the game type and stuff like that. So I do hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead and leave a like if you guys are going to use these classes. Subscribe for more advanced warfare content and drop a comment down below letting me know which class is your favorite. Other than that, have a fantastic day, everyone. I'll see you guys in another video. Peace out.